New federal data shows people with disabilities are landing jobs in record numbers. It's a recent trend. Some experts could say it could help the ongoing worker shortage. Yeah, with graduation season upon us, the future for adults with disabilities is looking brighter than ever. News Force Caroline Hacker brings you the unique story of one St. Louis high school senior. The end is near. Graduation is just hours away for these seniors. The benefits of sleep are not cumulative. But there are a few life lessons left to be taught at Miriam High School. Douglas, here's what you missed. The independent special education high school was the perfect fit for Elliot Gordon, who transferred his sophomore year from public school. It's not just like, oh, I've succeeded at Miriam, but I can't succeed anywhere else because building skills here in a different environment, like overall in public life, I've gone a lot better too. All right, did everyone do question of the day? It's a relief for his mom, Christine, who says she watched for years as Elliot was limited to his diagnoses of Asperger's and ADD in the classroom. He started reading before he was four. He was doing algebra when he was like eight. I mean, I knew this kid could do school. And so watching him struggle and struggle and struggle in places where he was not getting support and people weren't really seeing him. They were just seeing, oh, he doesn't function like a neurotypical kid it was so frustrating. There are things about lifestyle that you can change. After his switch to Miriam, his GPA jumped more than a point and he plans to attend Western Kentucky University in the fall. He's not alone. Many of Miriam's 14 graduating seniors are headed off to college. Others will start new jobs or join transitional programs. When we start to work with kids and only see what they're missing, we miss the entire other, like we miss the whole person. We miss the person that they truly are. We just are looking at them well, with or not, and that's not fair. With the final graduation rehearsal under his belt, Elliot is excited for what's next. His biggest cheerleaders ready to watch him walk across the stage. Your whole life is advocating for your kids, and when you've watched them go through like this kind of pain and rejection and the hard things, if they make it, you just want to scream like, thank you, God, you're, you've been good to us, you know, and like, well done. Elliot says he really hopes his mom doesn't yell too loudly at graduation tonight. Good luck I was going to say, I think that's going to happen. <laughs> good luck. Very proud of him. <laughs> All, All right. right.